into this video. I just want to give a quick precursor because this is a couple weeks in the future and we messed up a lot of stuff. Um, we had a lot of problems, but it is build, break, repeat, so Jason's going to explain kind of what's going on in this video. Our sprocket is just way too big. This thing's gearing is way too high. So basically that's just going to, the motor's just working too much, like kind of pushing electricity in but getting nothing out, which can cause overheating and a lot of strain on all your electric drivetrain components. So. For one, we had this, and then we also had, this motor is meant for 24 to 48 volts, and we were running it at 72, which, you know, isn't that bad. People people have done it with this motor before, but then couple that with being severely undergeared and just a lot more strain. Uh, basically, we burned out this motor, we had to get it rebuilt, and then we also ended up burning out our motor controller. We just figured that out, uh, like, t today, which is, like, three weeks in the future. But yeah, we have a lot of new parts we're about to order. We're just kind of sourcing things, figuring it out, but um... Yeah, but with that being said, there's a lot of potential here. Yeah. And just keep in mind when you watch this video that this thing was just severely uh, undergeared. So, what that means is it's still a lot of fun, we have a lot of potential here, and it's just another step in the process, and you'll see this thing drive for the very first time. So, in the last video, we got this thing finally running. As y'all can see, there's wires everywhere, we don't see. There's a lot of work to do, but there's really not that much left between us and a bunch of electric power, so let's just get started. We're getting the chain on. I also bolted this sprocket up and got our keyway mashed up. We don't really know what's going on with gearing. We've never really messed with electric stuff, but this is gonna be a pretty good reduction. I think we're gonna be able to go pretty fast with this. Everything is completely ready beside our throttle, but right now we just want to test it and make sure everything's working, tested the chains all right, and just everything, so. It's on, yep. Contactor. This is forward. This takes me super fast. Yeah. <laughs> Watch the tire. Did y'all see it expand? <laughs> <laughs> I love how quiet it is. All you hear is like this yeah. chain. This thing's, it's got a nice electric noise, but not too bad. So everything on the car is set up now, but we didn't have a way to set up the throttle. So what we did is we took this twist grip throttle that they had, and we got a little piece of aluminum, shaped it like a pedal, and then you bolted it on here. So what it'll do is it'll just act like a foot pedal. This isn't going to be permanent, this is just so we can test the cart because we need to make sure that all our programming is going to work right and then after that we'll have to order a real pedal. But this is our stand-in and it works alright. So we're sliding our throttle onto our foot peg mount. It'll go like that so we'll get that cinched up and then we'll be ready to go. So you stand like that so that when you push it back it'll be like that. That's better. The throttle is all done, and um, I mean, it looks a little weird. It's not very easy to use. Just this twist grip has so much more throw than a normal pedal. But um, I mean, this is a good temporary measure. It's pretty solid, so that should work for us. And now it is in forward, so. Okay. <laughs> we might actually want to undetune some of the responsiveness. This is. But also, we don't know, it's not under load yet, so we'll have to see, but... Wow. Dude. Oh, dude. Alright, let's try reverse. Oh wait, I just turned it off. There we go, okay. Reverse. This is our first cart. <laughs> this is our first cart with reverse. Wow. Yeah, let's go drive it. Oh, 
Okay, everybody. Well, we've had a lot going into this and we're finally here ready to drive. Thank you, Go Power Sports. And we got a sick new race suit we need to show you too. Yeah, guys, so we got this OMP uh, full cart race spec. It's uh, fire resistant, friction resistant. We got this from OG Racing and they make all different kinds of custom race suits. I mean, as y'all can see, we chose all the colors, the design and everything on here. So um, yeah, we'll kind of walk you through this. We got our Go Power Sports logo, our logo, OG Racing, same on the back. And I mean, this thing looks super cool. So make sure you check out the links in the description if you need a nice hotel to stay at in Frisco or a new race suit. All right, ready to give this thing its first test drive. Power on, contactor, and forward. Good luck, brother. All right. Hopefully it doesn't break. Oh, okay. I can't even tell how fast it is. You can't even hear anything. What a siren. Power doesn't kick in until right about now, so you can just tell how bad our gearing is. Yeah, guys, the one feature that we've never had is reverse. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's not limited reverse at all, so we can go top speed backwards. So that's not safe. Next video. <laughs> that's what we do, we put it in reverse. And I'm just gonna b-roll over this footage anyways because it's electric and you can't hear anything. But we should have stopped driving this thing as soon as we noticed how bad our gearing was. But we were just too excited. We actually ended up overheating the whole system, but at least we had some fun and got to see it drive. Probably a little deceiving with how quiet it is, but that, that's insanely fast. I mean, I wasn't even close to top speed, it was still pulling hard. So, what's the like fun factor? How fun is it? It's super fun. It, I mean, being not as crazy and more like usable because, like, the rotary you're always worried you're gonna like bottom out or you're gonna grind the gears or something like that, or the clutch is gonna break. With this thing, I trust it completely. There's no weird noises. It's just power and fun. So would a re-gear do anything, Jason? Yeah, I think this thing definitely needs a re-gear. Um, I mean, right now it's kind of got stupid top speed and it seems to be really suited for the track. Kind of just a good, fairly good handling part and it's got nice, good linear power. So, I mean, stay tuned for next time because we're definitely going to re-gear this thing and take it to the track. Joe's turn. Yeah. This How are you is... feeling? I'm ready to get suited up. This suit also. Ah. All right, you ready, Joe? Yep. I think we're rolling. Oh yeah. <laughs> so fun. Yeah 
that, guys. So, I mean, we've already talked about this, but this was very impressive build. We're really happy with how it turned out. I mean, we're surprised we even got it running. So, I mean, obviously it wasn't exactly what we expected, but uh, given the motor we have and everything, it's, it's what it should be. So, going into the, this build, we are gonna need to add cooling to the back of the controller and maybe even a little kind of air duct or something to help cool the engine or the motor too. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Also check out our Instagram at buildbreakerfeet. Thank you to Go Power Sports, OG Racing, and the Westin in Frisco. And we'll catch you next time.